Hello, and welcome to this training video on setting up and using the ground initiated COMB or GICB application on the AVX 10K flight line test set from Viavi Solutions. In this video, we will discuss the settings and procedures for capturing GICB data, and then we will review saving that data and viewing the results. As background, the ground initiated COMB protocol allows the interrogator to extract COMB replies from a transponder. These replies contain data from one of the 255 registers within the transponder in the MB field of the reply. This data is used by ground-based interrogators, ATC, to extract specific data about the aircraft and its flight characteristics through the use of MODES protocols. This is similar to ADSB, but it requires the interrogator to initiate the extraction. After turning on your test set, open the radio test transponder ribbon and select the GICB application. All applications on the AVX-10K have a set of common preferences that need to be set before testing. Our video common test settings and general preferences goes into greater detail. Setup parameters that are unique to the GICB application are found in the advanced settings page. The GICB downlink format should be set to DF20. This option is available for change due to the transponder specification. Position decode mode can be set to either global or local. Global is the most common setting which decodes two consecutive squitters to determine position. When set to local, the AVX will use one squitter and the entered GPS position to determine location. On the main page of the GICB application, we can elect to run the test in either simple or advanced mode. In simple mode, the AVX will retrieve the commonly used ADSB registers. In advanced mode, the AVX will attempt to extract data from all registers. When set to advanced mode, this will be reflected in the title on the tab. To capture data, press the run button and wait for the test to complete. Once complete, all ribbons should reflect either available or not capable. Details can be viewed by opening each ribbon. When satisfied with the results, you can save the data by pressing the save data button, renaming the test if desired, and then press the save button. Any files that have been saved can be sent to your Stratasync account. Please review the video on Stratasync for more details. The data can also be viewed directly on the AVX in a couple of ways. To view the file, select the system tray button on the lower right front of the AVX and select the view reports icon. Click on the file that you would like to view and it will load. Here you can also convert this data to a PDF file which can also be transferred to your Stratasync account. To view both test results as well as the way the unit was set up during testing, click the Recall Data button from the Setup page. Load the desired file and all of the measured values and settings will be loaded for review. The experts at Viavi Solutions are ready to answer your questions about using the AVX-10K. Send your questions or comments to americas.service at viavisolutions.com or call 1-800-835-2350.